In the ancient kingdom of Macedonia, a young prince was born in 356 BC. His name was Alexander, son of King Philip II and Queen Olympias. From his earliest days, Alexander showed signs of greatness. Tutored by the philosopher Aristotle, he was educated in science, philosophy, and the arts, but his true passion lay in the art of war and the dream of conquest. As a teenager, Alexander tamed the wild horse Bucephalus, demonstrating his fearless nature. His bond with Bucephalus became legendary, a symbol of his indomitable will. When Alexander was 20, a significant event changed his life. The assassination of his father, Philip II. Alexander ascended the throne, inheriting a strong kingdom and a well-trained army. Alexander's ambition was not just to rule Macedonia, but to conquer the Persian Empire, the largest empire of the era. In 334 BC, he crossed the Hellespont into Asia Minor, beginning his legendary conquests. At the Battle of the Granicus River, Alexander faced a formidable Persian army. Despite being outnumbered, his tactical brilliance led to a stunning victory, opening the gates of Asia Minor. In 333 BC, Alexander faced the Persian King Darius III at the Battle of Issus. Despite facing an army far larger than his own, Alexander's strategic acumen led to a decisive victory. Darius fled, leaving his family in Alexander's hands. Alexander treated them with respect, gaining admiration for his magnanimity. Alexander's journey to Egypt was a turning point. Welcomed as a liberator from Persian rule, he was crowned as a pharaoh. In the Oracle of Siwa, it is said that he was declared a son of the god Amun, fueling his belief in his divine right to rule. One of Alexander's most remarkable military feats was the Siege of Tyre in 332 BC. The island city was thought to be impregnable, but Alexander's ingenuity led to the construction of a causeway linking the island to the mainland. After a seven-month siege, Tyre fell, showcasing Alexander's relentless determination. In 331 BC, Alexander faced Darius III again at the Battle of Gagamela. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Alexander's army crushed the Persians. This victory marked the end of the Persian Empire and the beginning of Alexander's rule over a vast territory. Alexander continued his conquest eastward, reaching India in 326 BC. At the Battle of the Hydaspes River, he faced King Porus, a worthy adversary. Despite the fierce battle and heavy losses, Alexander emerged victorious. Impressed by Porus's bravery and leadership, Alexander allowed him to retain his kingdom, a testament to Alexander's respect for valor and nobility. However, the Hydaspes marked the limit of Alexander's campaign. His weary army, longing to return home, persuaded him to turn back. In 323 BC, while planning further campaigns, Alexander fell ill in Babylon. His illness worsened, and at the young age of 32, Alexander the Great died. The cause of his death remains a mystery, speculated to be due to malaria, poisoning, or other ailments. Alexander's death marked the end of an era. His empire, stretching from Greece to India, was the largest the world had seen. His legacy lived on, not just in the vast territories he conquered, but in the spread of Greek culture and ideas throughout the known world. Alexander the Great, a king, a conqueror, and a visionary, left an indelible mark on history, his life a testament to the heights of ambition and the fleeting nature of power.